Hi everyone, my name is Mehdi Razwan. I'm currently a staff engineer at Saratech, and today I'll be covering managing materials in FEMAP. Uh, in this example, I'll be particularly focusing on managing materials in the material library, how to add these materials to the material library, as well as to share the material library's file for other clients. In this model, I have an L bracket that of analyzed and I've only used one material for it. However, I want to see how this uh, L bracket would uh, react to a different material. To quickly access the material library, I can go ahead and right click on the materials option here, press new, and FEMAP will prompt me to specify a new material and all the values um, for uh, the properties. Now in this example I'm going to use one of FEMAP's default materials but I'm going to slightly edit these values so that I can go ahead and change the, uh, the stiffness of that material. Now I'm using a much stiffer material 4340 but in our company uh, we are a little bit more conservative and we use a slightly less stiff uh, material property. I'm going to go ahead and change the title of this value and then go ahead and press save. Feedmap will then prompt me to save this material in the material library and I can go ahead and press yes. Uh, from there if you click on the load button again you'll notice that that material is now listed in your material library. However as you can see I've accidentally duplicated this material and so I'm going to go ahead and delete this other one that's I've already duplicated. And you can do that easily by pressing on the delete button here. And you can do the same thing uh, with any of these different materials that are in that material library. Um, for libraries that have several hundred materials, it might be a good idea to use uh, this filter here or to click on this filter option here um, to quickly find the material that you're searching for. I'm going to go ahead and press cancel here because I already have the material that I want and then press OK. Oh, one thing to mention too before I press OK is that you can also define all the different types of material properties, so the function references, the nonlinear behavior, the if you're using composite, the ply and bond failure, as well as creep and other aspects of the material property. And that basically concludes the material library uh, methodology in FEMAP. Um, now in reference to Def, uh, referencing a specific material library, uh, you can always press the file preferences option. And by going to the library slash startup tab, you'll notice that all your defaults are listed here. If you click on the triple dots next to the material.esp file, uh, you can then specify the material.esp library file that you want to uh, generate your materials from. Um, for those that don't know where the material.esp file is located, it should be in your default installation location. Uh, here's mine, and if you just scroll down, you'll notice that it is here. Um, and with that, uh, thank you guys uh, for watching this video. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call or email us. Um, and we have other topics that we cover as well for other Siemens products such as NX, and solid edge um, and please don't hesitate to call us or email us on those issues as well uh, thank you guys for watching this video and i look forward to hearing back from you guys soon